Over the past year, downtown Madison, like many downtowns across the country, have experienced tremendous challenges. Despite these challenges, a number of organizations and individuals have stepped up to help make a more welcoming, inclusive, vibrant, and equitable place for everyone. A variety of programs and projects have come out to shine a light on how we can all work together to truly enliven and enrich downtown Madison. What we saw through the, the BLM movement is a lot of people feeling that they didn't have a place in downtown. The pop-up program is an awesome collaboration between the Hmong Chamber, the Black Chamber, and the Latino Chamber here in Dane County. How do you create access to a community that may have felt disengaged from a specific geographic area? We decided that we could work in conjunction to create access. Not just having a Mexican restaurant is enough. It's having other vendors, it's having events that are specific to a cultural connection. I'm hoping with these collaborations that there will be more opportunity for people like myself and those I represent to have a space in downtown and, and beyond. The Downtown Streetery program has been a lifeline, something that's been essential for our downtown businesses, our downtown restaurants. Economically, it's meant a lot. But it's actually really been important to those downtown businesses emotionally as well. They love this work. It's really important to them. And so they were able to host you, provide you great food. Now we have some music available in our streeteries. And it's really meant a lot to downtown. The Mad Lit event series is an eight-week series designed to focus on, on, on bringing more inclusivity to the downtown area, to really give opportunities for more artists of color and more folks of color that don't necessarily get access to a lot of stages in town. And what better way than through music and through art, it is opening up a welcoming door for folks to come down and really interact and connect with each other. I think that the conversations and the interactions now are really eye-opening. For example, when the murals were up, and I saw so many conversations happening revolving around this art. To see those conversations and to see those interactions, it was really encouraging, and it has been encouraging. There are two ways to still see the murals today. One is the American Family's beautiful book, and second, many of the murals are up in the locations around downtown Madison. The future of downtown Madison, of course, is unknown. But what we do know is that we've got everyone thinking about how we make it the Madison that we all want, the Madison that is truly inclusive and welcoming for everyone. I think we're learning a lot about each other. We learn about the commonalities between communities, and then we also learn the, the differences, and then how to work you know, through those differences. The future of downtown is bright, so let's celebrate and all engage together to create a new downtown for generations to come.